Hello and welcome to the Dutch Inn channel. It's Wednesday morning, the 27th of March 2024, and it's just hit quarter to nine. We've got three meetings today that have survived the weather, and the first meeting we're going to do, along with the matchbook exchange, will be Wincanton. And we're going to start with their first race today, which is the two o'clock, and that's a handicap hurdle. Got a couple of non-runners here going to post, so that's only going to leave us nine instead of the eleven. And Stanley Pinkham is the first non-runner, and that's our number one selection. So, got to change all this round. So we'll take that one out first. And the other selection was... Battalion or Battalion, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but anyway, we don't need to worry about that because that's a non runner as well. And this will leave nine. Right, so our new number one selection is going to be C set. So we'll pop into Matchbook. And there we go. They've got the two non-runners there as well. And CSET currently trading at 7.2. Now, don't forget the over round at this time of the morning on these kind of meetings will not be great. So what you need to do is just wait closer to the race, as I always say anyway. So CSET, that's currently trading at 7.2, stakes of 13.89, would return £100. And the second selection is Regal Renaissance. And Regal Renaissance, that is currently 4.5. And stakes of £22.22, .22, would return £100. And our third selection is the Bomber Liston. And the bomber list, and that's currently seven. But we'll see how much money we've got in the pot before we do that one. We've got £13.89 left, so nearly got enough, not quite. And that will be the only three bets to our stakes of £50. So we'll use the calculator for the third one as per normal. So the bomber Liston will have a stake of £13.89 and a price of 7 That will return us £97.23, which is very good for the third selection. And CSET and Regal Renaissance, if one of those two was the win, would return us £100. Now, you would have seen yesterday that we had yet another good day, but Newcastle had let us down quite badly, and that's why you need to bet in as many races as you can, as many meetings as you can. Um, we had Dundalk for the first time yesterday, first Irish meeting I did, and that's where the profit came from at the end of the day. We had the first four winners at Dundalk and the last loser. So that had won us £150 just at Dundalk, and we had won 156 overall. So we wouldn't have lost, but that's where the profit came from yesterday. So now we're going to move into our second race at Wincanton. This is the 2.30 today. And yet another non-runner, so you can tell that the going here is going to be pretty heavy, I would think. And into our second race there. I love you, Sivola is the non-runner. That's our outsider, so that wouldn't have most probably got a bet anyway. And our number one selection here is Abingworth. So we'll change matchbook to race two. And Abingworth, that's currently trading at 7.2. And states of £13.89 would return £100. And our second selection is Plenty of Time. 
and this is trading at 8.6. Stakes of £11.63 would return £100. And our third selection is Haytos. And Haytos, that's trading at 5.3. And let's see if we've got enough money first of all. Yep, we do. And stakes of £18.87 on Haytos would return us £100. And now we've only got left in the kitty £5.62. And that £5.62 will go on a horse called Moitia. Now the reason you can see that is starred is because it was meant to be running yesterday, but it was a non-runner, so it means the form hasn't changed on that horse. But today, that opens up now at 2.88, which is around 15 to 8. So let's go through the selections again. Moitia. We can only put £5.61 on this, and we will times that by 2.88. And that gives us a return there of £16.15, which I always say is better than nothing. And we've got three running for us. That's Abingworth, Plenty of Time, and Haytos. And if one of those three was the win, would return us £100. So we'll go into race three, which is the three o'clock. No non-runners here at present, so nine go to post. And our number one selection is Gay Legacy. And Gay Legacy, let's get into our exchange. And Gay Legacy, that's currently trading at six. So stakes of £16.67 would return us £100. Sabrina, this is currently trading at 10, so a stake of 10 pounds would return us 100 pounds. And our third selection, just go for it. And that is one of the outsiders, if not the outsider. 19.5, and stakes of 5 pound 13 would return 100 pounds. Our fourth selection is Fortuna Lina. I'm sure it's not Ligna, but, you know, it could be anything. And this is trading at 7.8. And before we work that out, let's see what the stakes were before that. No, there was plenty of money in there. So Fortuna, the £12.82 stake at 7.8 would return £100, and now that leaves us £5.38. And our fifth selection is Chloe's Court. And Chloe's Court, that's currently trading at 17. And that will be our final bet in that race. So Chloe's Court... £5.38 times the SP there of 17 would return us £91.46. So that would be really good there on the fifth selection. And we've got Gay Legacy, Sabrina, Just Go For It, and Fortuna Lina. One of those four would return £100. And you saw there, Chloe's Court would return 91.46. So we've basically got five runners there out of the nine. Sorry. Right, into the Wing Canton 330. And we've got five that go to post here with no non-runners at the moment. And our top selection here is Juniper. I'll change all this round because I've got that out of sync. 
So into the 330, our number one selection was Juniper. And Juniper at the moment is trading at 1.92. So as it's under evens, this would be our only bet in the race. And that would take all of our stake of £50. So our selection in the 330 at Wincanton would be Juniper. Now we'll move into the four o'clock at Wincanton. Ten go to post here, and again, no non runners at present. But you can see this horse down here, Marioli, has only run in point to points. So this four o'clock race will be a no betting race for us. And as we move on into the 435, there's a non runner here, Gentleman Ross, and that's going to leave eight runners. And that's a maiden hurdle. And Gentleman Ross was our eighth selection there from nine. So that leaves eight. And our number one selection here is Don't Tell Sue. And into the matchbook exchange, into the 435, Don't Tell Sue. This is trading at 1.31. So I didn't realize it was going to be that. So again, that's just going to be a one stake race of 50 pounds. And that is the 435, don't tell Sue. But we're going to move into the final race at Wincanton for the afternoon. And that is the 505. Again, we've got 11 going to post here with one non-runner in Clinton Lane. So we'll go into our spreadsheet, and Clinton Lane was our top selection. So that's two today that we've had at the top there that have been taken out. And that leaves us our top selection there now of Joe Hans. We'll go into the last at Wincanton on Matchbook. And Joe Hans there currently trading at 4.3. Stakes of £23.26 would leave us... <coughs> £23.26 would return us £100. And our second selection is Plazier de Flow. And Plazier de Flow is the favourite at 2.92 currently. And we wouldn't be able to afford that. So our maximum stake would be £26.74. And that would be our last bet there. So Plazier de Flow, a stake of £26.74. And the price of 2.92 would return us 78.08. So it would be it would be a profit there, which is important. But Joe Hans is our top selection and would return us 100 pounds. So it's a, a bit of a messy meeting this, but we're going to go back to the start and just do a recap. In the first race, the two o'clock, we've got C Set and Regal Renaissance. One of those two would return £100, and the bomber Liston would be the lower amount. The 230, we've got Abingworth, Plenty of Time, and Hatos. One of those three would return £100, and Moitier would return the lesser amount. Into the three o'clock, we've got Gay Legacy, Sabrina, Just Go For It, and Fortuna Lina. One of those four would return £100. 
and Chloe's court would be the lesser amount. Then into the 330, just the one selection here we've got is Juniper because that's odds on. Then the four o'clock at Wincanton is a no bet. The 435, just the one selection again, that's Don't Tell Sue, that's odds on. And in the final race, we've got Joe Hands as our top selection, which would return £100. And the lesser amount would be on Plazier Day Flow. So that's the Wing Canton meeting all done today. And I'll be back with the results show when I lose tonight. And otherwise, have a great day and happy punting.